Hey, Firebrand X here with a quick tutorial on importing JSON console specific optimal timing profiles into this uh, OSSC bin file generator slash editor program. Uh, and this makes it uh, real easy to load in profiles, sort of like the FrameMeister. A few extra steps, but you'll see that it's actually very easy to use. Uh, you can see here there are profile slots 0 through 14. And if you actually click on one and import a single profile for a specific console, it will actually load it into that slot when you import it. So let's demonstrate that now by scrolling down to the drag and drop window, which is right here. And I'll go to my folder where I have the profiles I've started making for each console. And we'll do the Super NES 256 by 224 profile as a demonstration. So just drag it drop it in you can see the contents appears click the import JSON button right here it says import none and if you scroll up it still shows it on slot 10 now what if you didn't want it on slot 10 you know say you made a mistake and you want it on a different slot like say you wanted it on slot 1 or 2 let's say slot 2 so there's this move this profile option so you click on that and you select slot number 2 wait for it to reload and now you can see that slot number two has the profile name of SNES 256 and if we click back to 10 no longer has it it's now back to default settings so we go back to that SNES 256 that's my optimal timings for everything and say you wanted to add another one well we don't want to add it in on the same slot or I'll just erase the current one so pick a different slot uh, let's say slot number three will make that the SNES 512 one. So we'll scroll down here, go back to my profiles. There's the 512 one. We'll drag and drop that. And you can actually scroll up just to see the name right here. So it says SNES 512. So you know it loaded in. Click the import button again. Import done. We scroll back up. See it says SNES 512 for slot three. SNES 256 for slot 2. And that's how you would go ahead and fill the entire 15 slots if you wanted to keep going with this. Um, so now what you want to do is create the bin file that you can flash to the OSSC. And there's options here. Save all profiles as JSON if you want to have a, you know, a complete set in one JSON file. Save the current profile as a JSON. That's how you would actually edit and build a console specific JSON file for later you know downloads for other people but we want to save the bin file so save profiles of bin that's gonna save all 15 profiles as a bin file click on that click save file and uh, if we go to the uh, download container you can see there it is right there and you can actually rename it so you don't get confused so I would add on to this an underscore and say, um, let's say you were going to do like an all Nintendo profile set. So we would just go like Nintendo. And say you wanted to label it that this is the RGB set or you know, like a SCAR RGB set. And uh, the OSSC will be able to handle that. It doesn't matter that the name has that extra information in it. The OSSC, OSSC will still be able to import the files. Uh, so now we want to get it onto a micro SD card where it is flashable and importable into the OSSC. So the next thing you want to do is minimize a browser, minimize this since we don't need that anymore, and go to this program called Win32 Disk Imager. It's the same program you would use in the same way for updating your firmware in the OSSC. So we'll double click on that. And the D file there, or D drive there is actually my micro SD card I've already got plugged in. And it's an empty card. You want to make sure it's empty. And then you're going to load the file. And I have it in my OSSC JSON profiles. We'll go to that. And if you notice, there's nothing here because it's looking for .img uh, images. But you want to select where it's going to show everything. And uh, there's our bin file that we want to use. Open that. And it shows it loaded there. And then cl simply click right. Do you sh sure you want to continue? Yes. And that's it. It's done immediately. All right. So the next step from here is we're going to take the micro SD card out 
and actually put it in the OSSC and we'll use the on-screen display to show me importing it. So just give me a sec here. I'm going to unplug the micro SD card and plug it into the OSSC. All right, that's done. Now we're gonna go ahead and uh, open up the preview window. I already have the SNES running. This is actually a one chip 03 SNES that I modded myself. I use console five C-Sync restore kit. And then I use retro RGB's uh, simple 750 ohm resistor pull down for each of the RGB channels. And uh, in my opinion, it looks fantastic. Now here it looks blurry because this is in generic mode on the OSSC, so we need to go ahead and import those profiles. So we'll go to uh, the menu and you see on-screen display, which is a wonderful thing. I love it because now I don't have to stare at the actual upscaler. Uh, settings options, and we're gonna go to import settings. Import and click the one button on your remote for yes. Now it's loading. 15 entries imported. Now you notice that it said 15 even though we only programmed two. And that's because all of the other slots are still there. They're just at default generic settings like the preview window is currently now. So now from here, I can actually go to load profile and if we scroll down, you can see that slot 3 is indeed SNES 512 and slot 2 is SNES 256. That's the one we want, so we'll click OK on the remote. And bam, there we are. Look at those beautiful sharp graphics. Of course, YouTube will probably compress it, but I can assure you it looks like an emulator. It's so freaking sharp. And that's all there is to it. Um, so I hope that covers everything, and uh, hope you have fun. With the uh, profiles, I'll keep making new ones, but I needed to just get this video out there for people who don't know how to do this. You see it's real easy to do, and you can even make your own JSON uh, console profiles. And that's all there is to it. So thanks a bunch for watching, and I'll catch you next time.